the goal of the state auditor is to make sure that your taxpayer money is not wasted. And they take hundreds of phone calls from whistleblowers every year, and they investigate whether there's any truth to the claims that are made. And among the findings this year, the Department of Veteran Affairs improperly issued 10 emergency contracts totaling nearly $630,000. State auditor says the circumstances weren't really emergencies and they didn't look for competitive bids. Also in the audit, a Cal Fire chief is accused of entering into a $100,000 contract with a construction company that was owned by his wife's family. And the auditor says the department did not follow the proper contracting procedures in that case. And one of the biggest findings is that the Department of State Hospitals started a telepsychiatry program to treat incarcerated patients at state hospitals. And they've been offering enhanced state safety benefits. Now, these are reserved for employees that face some type of dangerous risk because of who they're treating. But these particular employees were speaking with prisoners virtually. Typically, these retirement benefits or state safety benefits are for individuals who, you know, on a regular basis um, are um, going to prisons or are, you know, they're at a higher risk, for example, of because they're, they're regularly seeing um, individuals who are incarcerated or there's some kind of safety um, risk component. And the audit also found several Caltrans supervisors and other and another employer improperly used state-owned vehicles in order to commute back and forth from work. The combined cost of that misuse was about $22,000. Golston, Brian, thank you.